thank you very much. I can't tell you how much of a pleasure this is. You know, um, I was thinking about it through the campaign, and uh, you know, a good number of you folks have been with us uh, in now the fifth campaign, and this was the tiebreaker. I very much look forward to it. I uh, anticipated that we would do well. I didn't anticipate we would do this well. And the only reason we do is because, uh, first off, between elections, I've got this great team of people that work in our constituency offices and in Ottawa that take great care of, of the people in Oxford. And, uh, you know, it, it makes it so much easier and better for me when I know that uh, the people here are well taken care of, and I know they are. And then when comes election time, we got this huge body of people that are here and others that can't be here that come out every time and work for us and volunteer and bring out the vote. And tonight is just a, a wonderful feeling. Um, I, I, I don't know what else I can say about the, the how I feel, and I, I know I'm not uh, as emotional as some of the candidates that we had in this writing, but uh, um, it's just it's just a, a wonderful thing. and. You know, um, Linda knocks on as many doors as I do, even though she took 40% of this campaign off and went to uh, England. <laughs> but I have to thank, thank her for that, and, uh, and also the rest of our family who are always there and support us. And, uh, you know, um, as we go forward in this, and I look at the numbers, they're... Uh, they're not where we would like to be, obviously, in majority territory, but they're not far off. And I think we'll go back with a, a strengthened party. Um, goodness knows what each of our roles will be there, but my role is to put Oxford first, and that's what, what I have done, and that's what... Uh, 